everyone. Welcome to my channel. Uh, my name is Priscilla. Thank you so much for watching. I am going to, so this video is going to be continuing uh, with our lab setup and our, for our uh, SCCM installation. And what we're going to do in this video is configure the DNS reverse lookup. So uh, reverse lookup zones, re what they do is that they request the full fully qualified domain name that corresponds to an IP address. So like when you query or you search an IP address, the reverse lookup helps you get that uh, FQDN, the fully qualified domain name associated with that IP address. So we're gonna do that. It's gonna be really cool. I hope you guys like it. All right, let's get it done. Thanks. All right, so we're on our domain server and we're gonna go ahead and log in. And so we're Pleon administrator. We're gonna put that password in. We're gonna go to tools. Then we're going to go to DNS and our domain controller. Our, yeah, so then we're going to go click domain controller, drop that down, and then we're going to select reverse lookup zones, right click it. Uh, hold on, let me go ahead and refresh that. Right click it again, and then click new zone. All right, so we're going to go ahead and click next. I'm gonna, this is our primary zone, so that's fine. Click next. And then, so that's how you want the zone data to, re to be replicated. It's gonna be to all DNS servers running on domain controllers in this domain, plian.com. So we're gonna go ahead and do leave it as it is and click next. It's gonna be IP version four reverse lookup zone. And then our network ID is going to be 192.168.1. Uh, sorry. We're gonna go, go ahead and click next on that one because that's all good to go. We're going to click next on this one as well, because that looks all good. And then we're going to finish. So that's all set up now. And then we're going to go to our forward lookup zone, select the Pleon. Going to select RDC. Going to update the associated pointer record. Apply it, hit OK. I'm going to do the same to our DHCP. That's already checked, but I'm just going to like, refresh it. So I'll do apply and then I'll check it again and apply make sure that's all good. Do the same to the SECM server. Apply that one. Go ahead. That's all good. So that's all set up. Cool. We got that one going. We're going to go to the reverse lookup one and then we'll refresh it. So now all of um, our servers are on there. So we're good to go. We've got the reverse lookup zones all set up for our DNS server. So, so we have that all set up now. So now our re reverse lookup zone is set up and it's going to allow us to get the fully qualified domain name that's associated to an IP when they're, when we do a query. So cool. It's all set up. Um, in our next video, we are going to do our DHCP configuration for our lab setup. So yeah, that's going to be another, another interesting video. I hope you guys really like this one. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys have any comments or anything, Go ahead and drop them down in the comment section if you want to go ahead and subscribe to watch some more videos that i'm going to be posting continue watching the series yeah i would go ahead and like this video too if you like it but thank you so much for watching i really appreciate it i hope you guys have a good one bye